Here, this capper fig has really impressed me. Um, I counted, I think, 17 Breva just on the one tree, just on the one variety. And the one variety here is called Bogo Malovo. And we're going to talk more about this as time goes on, I'm sure, because this variety is extremely hardy. And uh, it has been able to colonize the wasp in very cold places, this capper fig. So I believe, I don't remember exactly, but I think this tree is itself very hardy, but the wasp itself is only hardy to, I think, about 12 or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I think 12 is like 90% kill. So if you have, an, you have a tree you, or you live in an area that stays above 12 degrees Fahrenheit and you get this particular variety, you should potentially be able to colonize the blastophaga anywhere that it stays above 12 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the minimum temperature for the wasp. And there's actually a Hungarian study that was done um, that I've talked about in the past. Now, what else is very impressive about this variety is that it produces three crops of capper figs pretty reliably. Now you want to have multiple varieties, which is why I have a second here. And actually there is some Brabus forming here, but they're a bit further behind. Not every capra fig is going to produce three crops, you know, regularly. Uh, you may only get one, or you may only get two. So to actually colonize the fig wasp, you have to have a consecutive three crops. One, which is the Braba here that you can see, or this is technically the Profici if it had wasps in it. And then you would get the second crop, which is technically the main crop, which is going to form on this new growth. Then you would get a second main crop, which is where the capper figs or the, uh, the blastophig, excuse me, actually overwinters in those figs is a second main crop. And then actually it gets released into this Profici sometime in the spring. I would imagine somewhere around now, actually. So it's a pretty impressive variety, I have to say. Uh, I have no doubts, but I'm leaving this property um, very soon in the next 10 months or so. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother as I had planned to actually colonize the fig wasp because I'm gonna dig this tree up and take it with me um, and put it in a greenhouse somewhere in the future uh, on this new property. So um, unfortunate because we have really some consistency, it looks like starting, which is nice. I could get my friends to send me some Profici, not now, but let's say in May, um, they could start getting Profici, let's say in California and then I could give that Profici to this tree when it forms its next set of uh, crop. Even maybe even these, these Bravas here could get pollinated. And that would, of course, hopefully, fingers crossed everything goes right, that would start the process of colonization. So uh, pretty darn cool, I have to say. I think it's very possible, although we are going to have to wait again um, to get this whole thing really going officially but pretty awesome that this small tree really small tree has 17 Braba on it and I, I don't see any reason why um, this particular capper fig wouldn't be something that's really recommended to a lot of people in the future um, a lot of people in Europe I have a couple friends that really swear by this one and it's been used over there with great success. So I actually have a few cuttings that I'm propagating that I took off of the tree. And uh, I've tried to share it actually with a few people. Uh, so we'll see if we can spread this variety around in the future uh, more than we already have. Um, pretty impressive, I have to say.